I just went to the local greenhouse and bought myself $100 worth of garden stuff. And I'm so excited about it. Okay, I gotta warm up my car real quick. I got snacks and a little drink for the road. While we warm up the car, I figured we can go look at the little baby outlet this morning. It's been raining all morning and I wanted to do a bunch of garden work today and that's not happening. So that's why I decided that we're gonna go check out the local greenhouse that I've never been to before. Found a dry spot. Honey. Good morning, honey. Oh, honey. Good to see ya. It looks like your mommy got some, maybe ripped up that nasty little mouse for you. Hi, baby. Okay, we'll see you later. Okay, I've got to put in the address because I've never been there before. Um, it's about, I want to say like 40 minutes away. No, I was wrong. It's uh, 55 minutes away. All right. Let's see. You know, Did you hear that? Might be affected by flood warning. <laughs> All right, I'm going to turn my Spotify on. I'm going to sit in this car for two hours today. Okay guys, I will see you in 50 minutes. Okay, I just pulled up to the garden center. Let's go in and see what they got.
gonna make the trek home now so I'll see you guys in just a second but it'll be an hour's drive for me here is my garden center haul and all of this cost me hundred dollars I am gonna preface this that a lot of these are perennials and bare roots there's a couple annuals in here but for the most part these were more typically more expensive items that greenhouses will stock so let's start going through we'll, we'll start with these bags over here I got four bare root raspberries I really want to establish some raspberries and strawberries this year so I tried to get some like legit rooted raspberries and it looks like I tried picking out some of the more like maybe there was going to be doubles in them like maybe this will is part of the root maybe this will produce a uh, another raspberry so like two for the price of one uh same with this one you can see some of these little extra cuttings on here i mean i'm, I'm just hoping i was trying to maximize my money here and they had enough like we'll see if this one grows too like they had enough for me to, to try and pick and choose here so i got four bare root raspberries and they only had one variety called polana and i took some pictures of the information on these varieties um, when they had the available but i believe this was derived from poland and they should be early producers and very hardy for my zone which when i say hardy for my zone i'm talking about like zone three and four to be safe because i'm technically zone 5a probably I would err on the side of caution and get perennials that are at least three or four. So we're good there, those raspberries. I'll probably end up planting these out here pretty quick before last frost. Next up, I have some more bare roots and those are strawberries. So each of these are a bundle of 10 and I got two different varieties. I'll put them up here on the screen. I don't know how to pronounce one of them, but these are also, I believe, zone three and four hardy perennial strawberries. I, was, I wasn't necessarily going for like the best flavor, like the best, you know, producers. I just want something that will survive our winters. So yeah, I got two of each variety, so 20 bare root plants each, so 40 total. And they look, they look pretty good. I'll probably plant these out um, as soon as I can get in the garden. So when it stops raining. But yeah, they look, they look fairly decent. And these, again, $6 per bundle. So this was basically 25 bucks for 40 plants. In these bags here, I have my seed potatoes. I got three different varieties. Yukon Gold, All Blue, and Huckleberry Gold. And I've grown all three of these varieties at my last house. And they, they all did really good. So here are the three different varieties. This is Huckleberry Gold. It's got a purple skin, gold inside. Yukon Gold, which is gold and gold. And then all blue is purple skin, purple inside. Some of these sprouts are a little tall and I was worried that they were all going to break off on the travel home. But uh, so far I think I'm doing okay. But I only got a few of each and I'm planning on chitting these here pretty quick. Just so I can kind of kind of see if uh, that will maximize my yield when I'm digging these up. I've got about six to eight potatoes of each variety here. We're just going to be real gentle so we don't knock these eyes off of them. Because if you knock an eye off, then that's it. It's not coming back, which means you're not gonna get as many potatoes. Then coming in on my flat of plants here, I actually just realized I made a mistake. So I ended up getting two spearmint plants for some reason, which really bummed me out because these were basically five or six dollars each for these, uh, I think they called them three or four inch pots. So each of these was five or six bucks, which now I have two mint plants, which is fine. I mean, I love mint, but I did not mean to buy double. Then I went ahead and picked up some thyme, even though I'm trying to start it, it's just not coming up very well. So I've got a beautiful little thyme. Oh my God, I know what I did. Oh no. One of these was supposed to be a rosemary. 
Oh, are you kidding me? Okay. Bummer. I thought I had a rosemary in here. Okay, what? What ifs? And my last herb that I got, herb slash flower, I picked up some German chamomile, and I'm hoping, um, it looks like there's several plants in here. At least three of them, it looks like. So I just wanted some chamomile so I can start a fun little tea garden, because I love chamomile and mint tea. And then, these here are my planter flowers. I have some pots that are on our front porch and stuff. So I just got this cute little alyssum. It's called Wonderland White. I just love alyssum. It smells like honey. It's I just think they're so beautiful and pretty. I picked up a little pack of some pansies. These are pansies, right? Yeah, I think so. So I got yellow and orange. Then I picked up some petunias. These ones are white. And then these petunias are a darker, like vibrant red. It's called easy red, whatever that means. So I picked up some red petunias as well. And then these here are big fluffy yellow marigolds. And the variety is called First Lady. I don't know if you can kind of see on that tag. They're supposed to be like double or triple. I was just gonna plant my front porch pots with these annuals here. And that's it. That's a hundred bucks. <laughs> I'm always a little astonished at how expensive things are, but I knew going into this, especially with the raspberry starts at $6 each, it was 25 for four of them. And uh, yeah. And also I just like picked up the wrong plant. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't believe I did that. Bummer, that's okay. That's pretty much it guys. I went ahead and got a flat of annuals and herbs and then seed potatoes as well as some raspberries and strawberries. I say, I say this all the time. Hopefully I'll never have to buy those strawberries or raspberries again. Like that's kind of a, it should be a one and done type situation until we move again. We'll see, we'll see what happens there. Thanks for hanging out with me today guys and I can't wait to see you on the next video probably pretty soon. Bye.